Hello everyone, today we're going to do a relative compression test and we're going to use a snap-on modus to do that and we have also an amp probe that we're going to, uh, to utilize in, in performing that test and uh, we're hooking that on the battery cable going down to the starter. Uh, we're going to kill the ECM so the engine can crank over without starting and uh, we're going to perform this test and we'll explain it uh, as we go through it. So we'll get started. Okay, and this F450 that's what this truck is. We're going to come up here right underneath the steering wheel and there's a fuse that we've pulled out and that fuse is right here beside these relays. Kind of right in here where the end of my finger is at. It's a 20 amp fuse. And that one there will kill the, uh, the ECM so the engine won't start. So we've done that and now we'll go out under the hood. Okay, I've got the modus powered up and I've also got the, uh, the amp probe. It's a snap on EETA 501C. And this goes uh, 40 amp or 400 amp. We'll be using it on a 40 amp scale today. And get that turned on. I've got uh, the modus on. And we're going to uh, scroll down. We're going to go to scope. And then we're going to bring it over to lab scope. And we're going to go down to volts DC. Going to hit volts DC and it's going to load. Okay. And we got this highlighted. We're going to bring it down to channel one. And we're going to bring channel one up. And what we want uh, checked is displayed. We want coupling AC. And we want filter displayed. We want all three of those checked. Okay. So we got that done. And we're going over to, we're going to set it on 500 millivolts. And then we'll go over here to, uh, sweep is two seconds and then we go over also to the display trigger and that gets set to none okay so we got that all done and in order to capture we're going up here to highlight the uh, little window right there and we're also zeroing it the meter we look at the zero on it we got a zero adjust on this this is powered up and we do that with it off of the uh, cable we don't have it hooked up to anything, this, this amp probe. So we've got it set at zero and we're ready to do the test. And we're going to clamp this here onto the battery cable going from positive side of the battery down to the starter. We'll put that on there. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to crank this engine over and see just what it does. Okay, go ahead. Okay, we've hit yes and it captured that. So now what we can do is go back and review it. So in order to review it, we highlight review right here. And we hit, uh, hit yes. And then we can back it up. And we can take a look at what we've got. And what you want to look at on these is, is evenness of the peaks. And this one here looks really pretty even all the way across. There's a couple of them there that are a little higher than others, but for the most part, you know, most of them are, are right real close to each other. Okay. That's a good looking uh, pattern right there. It's a good looking, uh, you know, and what, what we're doing there is as, as each piston comes up to fire, uh, the starter takes more amps to draw as you're coming up against compression. And this is showing you as each cylinder fires, you know how many amp draw, how much amp draw it's got. So if you've got a cylinder that's not coming up to compression like it should, you're going to have one that's way down low. Okay. So this kind of gives you some idea of, of what a good running engine looks like as far as the peaks. And it repeats. I mean, you can count out here. There's one high one here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's the eighth one. And it starts over again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You can kind of see there's a high one about every eight. It's a little bit higher than the others, but they're all pretty uniform for the most part on this one. So, all right. I have results from another 7.3 Power Stroke that I was looking at purchasing. Uh, it was one that had a miss in it. Uh, they told me it had bad injectors. They had it to their Ford dealer. Ford dealer is talking about putting in injectors. Uh, this company that had the vehicle wanted to get rid of it. Um, I went to purchase it, and before I did uh, anything, I did this relative compression test and I'm going to show you now the difference between a good one and one that shows up as bad 
and it, it's a test that you can use before you purchase a vehicle to find out what the mechanical condition of the engine is. A simple five minute test and uh, I'll show you the, the difference in the two, two different graphs. The graph on the right is from the 7.3 Power Stroke that we shot in the video. The graph on the left is the one from the truck I was looking at purchasing and when you look at this uh, we'll start right here where the pointer's at. You know, you start counting cylinders. Each one of these peaks is a cylinder coming up on compression. And again, we're measuring the amp draw as that piston is coming up against compression. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then it starts over again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It starts over again. So we see the pattern. We got we got three low ones. There's one right here, one right here, one right here. So we have a mechanical issue with that engine. We don't have uh, uh, necessarily a injector issue. We could have an injector issue with it, but uh, this is pointing to a deeper problem that uh, is going to require some engine uh, disassembly and, and uh, repair. So that gets into a whole other ball of wax as far as cost is concerned. So for you guys that are looking to purchase a vehicle or wondering if you have a bad injector, this test is a simple way to find out, do I have a mechanical issue or do I have a fuel injector issue? If your graph looks more like the one on the right side and you've got a miss, then obviously we're looking at uh, you know a fuel injector type issue or something of that nature. You, you know, on, on this right graph, everything looks good mechanically. All the, uh, all the pistons as they come up on compression are drawing very close to even amounts of amperage. So this is telling me we've got a good solid engine on this, uh, on this one right here. So that uh, gives you some idea what we're looking at. This is an excellent diagnostic tool to figure out the condition of your engine. If you're chasing down a miss, you want to check the relative compression first. It will point you to if you have an issue with compression or a mechanical issue inside the engine. You know, If you've got a diesel engine with an injector that's bad, uh, this will show you the condition of the engine. Whereas if you have a bad engine and you put an injector in, it's an expensive venture. This saves you money. It's a test that will definitely save you money if you're going to buy a vehicle excellent way to check the condition overall condition of that engine so i want to thank you for watching this video i hope it was very helpful for you and have a great day thank you for watching my video be sure to check out my other videos and subscribe to my channel at youtube.com forward slash c forward slash don's oil i'd like to introduce you to amsoil synthetic lubricants we have the most complete line of synthetic lubricants on the market that offer you greatly reduced wear extended drain intervals longer equipment life you can check that out at my website donsoil.com I also have a website for looking up fluid capacities. It's fluidcapacity.com. You can go there and print off the capacity of your engine oil, cooling system, transmission, transfer case differentials. Be sure to like us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Don Synthetic Lubes. Thank you and have a great day.